Hello there, welcome to Fulcrum and the Force. I'm Jim, this is my channel dedicated to everything Star Wars. And that's right, I've got another lightsaber review for you today, but this one is a special one. You've seen the title, you've seen the thumbnail, you know what it is, but it doesn't mean to say that I'm not going to tease it out a little bit longer anyway. This particular saber is not mine. Um, it's my good friend Sheena, SJ Weathering Saber, but I wanted to check out this saber and she's like, hey, why didn't you take this, check it out, maybe do a review? And I was like, yes, yes, I will. Because this saber has not only been made by AZ Sabers who are incredible, their work is really, really lush, um, but also designed by my good friend Stony Magnum. Dude's an absolute legend. You've seen him here on this channel before. We did we did a, a Jim's Cantina. We've done lives together. He's just like one of the best people in the world. Like, I adore this man. Um, and because we all know that Stoney is also like king of flow, I knew that this saber was going to be built, not just with that in mind, but built really nicely and really well because he knows sabers like when it comes to holding sabers the dude just knows sabers so let me show you what it is all up nice and close so you can actually see it it's the vendari and here it is i mean it's a beautiful looking saber um the blue is a really nice blue it's not a usual blue on a saber and i really like that you've also got gold trim going on in there and um, it's just super, super nice. Let me get nice and close so you can see it properly. you got your Covatec wheel there, a really nice pommel there. I'll talk a bit more about the pommel in a bit because it's pretty special. Um, but as you can see as well up here, this is obviously indented uh, for a great hold at the top. This is a stony saber. This saber was built with spinning in mind, and you can tell. And that's the first thing you want to do when you pick this thing up. You're like, I want to spin this. I want to spin this for ages because it feels that nice in hand. But there's so many details in this saber that you don't even know the first time you pick it up. Um, now, this part here, um, where you actually unscrew the saber, it's, um, it's all diamond cut. And it's like it's got grip to it, so you can actually hold it quite nicely. And the same is said for the button here. If you can see that, I'm not sure if you can. But to remove the core of this, you actually have to take the button out. And so that you can take it out easier, the button on the edge is is rough. So like they've they've um, they've grooved it in, so you can unscrew it really easily. So you actually can like hold it and unscrew it which is really really nice um it's a beautiful saber this one's set up in profi you can get it set up as golden harvest you can also get it um empty with the kit so you can build it yourself which is super cool um now as i said this is sheena's so she has gone ahead and done some extra spot stuff with the um with the uh chassis in this so she's gone ahead and done some painting work on the chassis. This is a really nice chassis anyway. Um, all the parts come about. You access the SD card through there. Uh, the battery's under there. Uh, you can see it says Vendari there, which is very, very cool. And you literally, you just unscrew the button and the whole thing slides out. And it's super, super nice. And like it's one of those where you're like, when you're screwing it together, it's just... You know how nicely that's been machined. And you're like, hmm, that is nice. I'm going to go ahead and put a blade in this so we can check it out properly. Um, because uh, this is pretty special. So I've gone ahead and put a blade in. Um, I am gonna, I am gonna turn it on now. That it's got a few. It's not got crazy amounts of sound fonts on there. It's got a few. I don't know where they all are from. I'm, I'm pretty sure one of them's from Grayscale fonts. I could be wrong. Uh, and there's also a Vendari sound font on here as well. But when you turn this on, that's when things get special. So let's do that. <laughs> This is 
one of the best, if not the best sounding saber I have ever used in my life. Like, I have a saber trio and it sounds incredible. This sounds better. I swear to you, this sounds better. It's incredible how good it sounds. And I mean, like, I'm going to go through all the fonts because it's that good. Look at that. I mean, not only is that a nice sound font, but I'm a big fan of the color change in that. Like, this is bright, too. You probably can't even hear me because this is going nuts. But it's, I mean, it's incredible. I'm in love with this saber. Crispity. The smooth swing on this? Is insane. I I can't tell you how much I love it. <laughs> there's quite a few there's more sound fonts on here than I remember. I have to be honest, this is a little bit fulcrum. Alright. It's a bit pink and it's a bit purple. And this thing sounds insane, right? And the of the final order will soon be ready. Listen to how beefy that is. Now, I know this has a, uh, a 27mm KR bass speaker in it, which, I mean, is, is incredible anyway, but, like, Vendari. So this is a sound font that's been made for it and is incredible. Now... I'm pretty sure that's all of them. Coda. Coda. I'm pretty sure that's a grayscale font. <laughs> that's insane. It just keeps going. There's way more than I remember being on here. I thought in my head I was just like six and I'm like, it just keeps going. This is the one I started on. Now, here's the crazy thing, right? So this is what I was so in, like amazed at. That sound is essentially amplified. I mean, obviously, that's what you want. Um, but in s such an incredible way by this pommel. Now, I don't know all of the ins and the outs of sound and design and whatnot. Um, but if you look there, on there, you've got some sound venting going on there, but there is a disc underneath, and then it it kind of filters all the sound font sound like straight out. So it's like it's channeling the sound because if you listen to it without the pommel, I mean, it still sounds good.
You hear that difference? Right there. It's right there. That is actually crazy. That just goes to show you like the level of, the level of build quality of this, the things that have been thought about, the, the attention to detail that's been like really like looked at and gone. We want to do this. We want to do that. We want to make sure it looks like this. I have to be honest with you. I need this lightsaber in my life. I can't, like... Let's get back to the Vendari. There it is. This... It sounds good. It looks good. It feels feels good like this is one of those sabers where you're like it's quite long like you can definitely get two full hands on this saber but it doesn't feel out of hand if you just have it in one now i'm gonna i'm gonna push back a little bit and see if i can do a little bit of a spin there's a lot of stuff in here so there's a good chance i can't but like oh hit me in the leg It just, it wants to be spun. It wants to be spun and it feels so good spinning in one hand. Now, you can actually get this uh, with a couple of extras. Uh, one is a stock um, tri -Cree puck. So what it does is it actually goes into the top of here. So it changes your NeoPixel into a baselet so that if you want to use a baselet blade and make it a lot lighter for spinning, you can, which is quite incredible. Like that's a nice little touch. That's very much a stony touch as well, I feel, because I'm like, he's always like, you spin with something lighter, like with a baselet, because also you don't want to damage stuff as well. So you don't want to break blades and whatnot. So you can get it with that puck so that you can put a baselet blade in and you can spin for hours on end. Um Honestly, head over to AZ Sabres, check them out because the price of this is actually incredible as well. Like something this nice, this sort of, this well designed, this well thought about, this, there is, there's passion put into this and you can tell when you look at it. And because of that, like the price that they've got it on at the moment is actually nuts. Um, I think it works out at, if you just get like the standard profi install, um, I think you can get it for around 260 pounds, which is an incredible price. I mean, that's an incredible price for a profi to start with. Then when it's this good, you're like that. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um, I have to get one of these. Like, there's no doubt in my mind that this has to be my next Sabre in my collection. I love it. Um, I would advise everybody to check it out because it's incredible. Um, just so very, very nice. Um, everything about it is incredible. And AZ Sabres, Stony. You have smashed this out of the park. This is one of those where you're like, that's a that's a top top shelf saber in my collection, you know? Or it will be once I've bought one for myself. That's definitely happening. Um, this has been a bit of a longer video. I wanted to go through the sound font so you could really get a feel of how this saber sounds and all the different sounds that it's got on it um, and how amazing it is. I'm blown away by this. And the fact that I don't own it already is a mistake. And I need to rectify that as soon as possible. But that's it for this video. If you own the Vendari, let me know. And let me know what you think of it. Um, I mean, just tell me that you love it. Because I know you will. Um, or if you're about to buy one. Or if you're looking to buy one. 
uh, let me know. I, let's talk about this beautiful saber. Um, until next time, don't forget to do the whole like, subscribe, bell thing so you don't miss any of my videos uh, because we've got tons coming up, loads more Lego, probably loads more lightsabers, and who knows what else around the corner. But until next time, don't forget, we are one with the Force, and the Force is with us.